Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing, and this is an exciting one. We've got the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, the mother of all flagships from Xiaomi. It's a box, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. So are you guys ready for this? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing here. Got a divider. And then we have the phone which has the following specs. Next generation super sensor, one over 1.12 inch, 50 megapixel. This is the Samsung GN2, super large pixels, 1.4 microns. It then bins them into 2.8 micron pixels, 48 and 48 megapixel for the ultra wide and the telephoto. It's a 5X periscope telephoto. These two sensors are Sony IMX586, you know, cause why not? Quad HD, 120 hertz display with 1700 nits maximum brightness crazy stuff snapdragon 888 of course it's a flagship 67 watt wired and 67 watt wireless charging mic drop this is it folks this is up there with the samsung galaxy s21 ultra the p40 pro plus it's just you know the mother of all xiaomi phones and like check out this crazy camera pod and you immediately notice there's this Big space right here, and that's for a secondary 1.1 inch display. I'll get to that in a minute. So before we continue, let's have a look at the rest of the box. We got a divider here, nothing too much. We got another little, ooh, special parchment paper. And then this is this crazy 67 watt, wow, this thing is heavy, 67 watt charger. It's in the box and included color keyed orange like all the high speed chargers from Xiaomi you have to use this cable to get the maximum speed and of course as you can see there is a USB A on one end and USB C on the other also color keyed C orange and orange yeah so that's that for the box there's really nothing else in here I like that it says 67 watt here very nice okay so that's it for this uh, box. Let's have a look at this other one here. So this is gonna be typical Xiaomi. Yeah, I can see it already. You got the SIM removal tool, a little pouch for the headphone adapter since this does not have a headphone jack. So you get a little USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter. This is standard stuff on all Xiaomi phones right now. And then you get a case with some paperwork. So user's guide. And warranty card we don't care about this so i'm going to throw it out and then let's have a look at this so it's going to have some illustrations so no micro sd on this phone of course so you can kind of see uh there's really not too much in here really it's multiple languages and stuff pretty much what you'd expect and then there's a case here and this is nice because it's one of those tpu cases that a lot of xiaomi phones come with and the nice thing about it is slightly frosted and you can see how thick that camera pot is from the uh, rim around the protection for it. This is nice to get you started, you know, perfect fit, doesn't get too yellow over time. So good news, nice to have in the box, right? So let's have a look at the phone, shall we? This is what we came for, the big flagship phone. So let's open this up. Here we go. Ooh look at that so we've got a power button and i'm going to push it to get started here me of course all right so while it's booting i can already feel that there's a screen protector pre-applied this is a slightly curved display on the edges as you can see here not too much of course 5g and the front facing camera let's talk about that real quick so this is a 20 megapixel front facing camera nothing too crazy f over 2.2 and um, 0.8 micron pixels it doesn't pixel bin unfortunately down to 5 megapixels usually this module on Xiaomi phones doesn't do that so I'm kind of assuming but I'm pretty confident it doesn't the other thing is you can see very much like the Mi 11 that I unboxed recently I'll put the link up there the curvature radius of the screen doesn't kind of match the curvature radius of the chassis, which is a bit weird looking. I don't like that, but hey, that's what Xiaomi's been doing. This display is gorgeous, Quad HD, 120 Hertz, 1700 nits, and it's curved, but very subtly, so it doesn't really have too much room for accidental touches and stuff like that. 
So that's it for the front, right? And I'm not going to set this up, you know, this is just an unboxing. But what I want to show you now is the back. Let me remove this sticker here real quick because it's kind of in the way. And look at that. Now the color isn't super exciting. Thankfully there are other colors available, but I think the white one is the one I'm excited about. But then there's this one inch display here and I can't show it to you unless I set up the phone, right? Hopefully we can kind of see it in the video, like maybe right here. 1.1 inch display. The resolution on that's a little weird, of course, 126 by 294 pixels. And it does have a capacitive layer for touch on it. So it's basically there to show what you're taking photos of, right? So if you're taking a photo of other people, they can kind of see a preview there. You can use it for selfies, of course, and it shows notifications. So if your phone is down with the screen down, you can like see if a call is coming and take it or reject it. It's pretty cool stuff. So it's basic functionality in this tiny little touchscreen in the back. It's a gimmick, but I think it's cool, especially since the cameras are so good. For selfies, I think this is worth it, but I'm not sure I'm up for the other stuff like notifications and whatever. So I talked about those cameras a little bit. You can see there's three of them. One is a 50 megapixel GN2 sensor from Samsung. That thing is bonkers. Super high performance in terms of low light, probably one of the best sensors on the market today. So let me read you the specs. It's an f over 2.0 lens, OIS, 1.4 micron sensor, so pixel bins to 2.8 microns for the super insane low light performance. And you've got two Sony IMX586 sensors for the ultra wide and the telephoto. Now this is a sensor that's like the main sensor on the OnePlus 8, 8T, a lot of phones. And it's a very well sorted sensor, very well known. It's a couple of years old now. It works really well, 0.8 micron pixels, pixel binned to 1.6 microns, of course. On the ultra wide scan f stop of f over 2.2 and on the telephoto which is a 5x as you can see right here the square opening periscope folded lens this is a f over 4.1 so not a very big aperture unfortunately so it's going to suffer a little bit in low light but it does pixel binning again of 48 megapixels and ois on the telephoto of course so you know in terms of camera this is pretty bonkers and pretty up there with, you know, as I said, the P40 Pro Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So, you know, the camera pod is a massive. Check this out, right? You see the thickness of the phone versus the camera pod. This is my finger, right? So can you live with that is the question. This is a big phone. It's a pretty heavy phone as well. It clocks in at 234 grams, which is pretty heavy. Anything over 200 grams is pretty heavy. It's not super big though, but this display is 6.81 inches. So this is definitely going to be a big phone, right? I mean, it doesn't feel that huge compared to like an S21 Ultra or anything like that, but it's still a big phone. Now, speaking of the guts, this has a Snapdragon 888, as we know. It does have eight gigs of RAM is kind of the starting configuration, it goes all the way to 12 gigs. Storage is 256 or 512. You have three permutations of that. UFS 3.1, LPDDR5, the RAM, of course. I mean, this is, you know, everything but the kitchen sink. 5,000 milliamp hour battery, NFC wireless charging up to 67 watt. You need, of course, Xiaomi special wireless charger for this. I don't have it and 67 watt wire charging with that brick I showed you earlier. It's got 10 watt reverse wireless charging, supports quick charge 4 plus and power delivery 3.0, which means it can charge with standard chargers up to probably something like 18 watt. So pretty exciting. 36 minutes for a full charge at 67 watts. It's kind of crazy. This color is ceramic black and then there's a ceramic white. I'm not sure if this back is actually made of ceramic, but it's definitely metal on the edges. Stereo speakers, by the way, you've got a special opening up here for the second speaker and as you can see it's Harman Kardon branded like the Mi 11 and uh, based on my experience with the Mi 11 this is going to sound fantastic some of the best speakers I've heard on the Mi 11 also Harman Kardon branded so let me walk you through the edges real quick there is a volume rocker here and as you can see it's got a nice finish on it power lock key with also a cool little finish on it Nothing on the edge here other than antenna bands. You got the main speaker on the bottom, primary microphone, USB type C, dual SIM slot, no micro SD as I mentioned. On the left side, you just have antenna bands. On top, that Harman Kardon brand, the port for the second speaker, and then you got a secondary microphone and an infrared transmitter. You can see it there. There we go. And then of course the earpiece is up here. So I think the earpiece is ported sideways here. So it's the same driver doing both but I also like the um, 
this little insert they have at the top here. They have that also on the Mi 11. It's very, very well done. So yeah, that's, that's the spec of this crazy beast of a phone. It's a flagship in all the ways. Display, chip, memory and storage, cameras, battery, charging speeds, materials, build quality. It's a little bit, you know, heavy handed in terms of the size of this camera bump and the, the you know, how much it sticks out. And of course you get that weird secondary display, which as I said, I think is going to be cool for selfies, but that's about it. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out and letting you know more on the podcast, letting you know what I think of this phone. Yeah, stay tuned for that, of course. So that's it for the Mi 11 Ultra, folks. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, click on the notification bell below. Support me the best you can. I'd appreciate it. And then more importantly, listen to the podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com or on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Spotify, everywhere good podcasts can be found. Subscribe and listen. That's how you're going to find out my thoughts on this phone. The unboxing is just a visual compliment so you have an idea of what I'm talking about on the podcast. That's it, folks. Stay tuned. I'll have more videos soon. And until then, cheers, everybody.